Today I'll be making Mexican pizza. I hope you enjoy. And if you like the video, I ask you to like and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First thing we're going to use is the hamburger meat. Pop it out the container. Get it on the grill. Now I've had everything preheated, so it's ready to go. Now I'm going to show you on this other side. I've got my enchilada sauce on the griddle, hot. I've got my refried beans ready to go on this side. And I've got my oil for the shells. So, what I'm going to be working on right now is getting this meat cooked down. I'm not going to make you stand here and watch me cook this whole thing. So we'll just pan back in in a few minutes. Okay, let's check this. Oh yeah. I believe we are good to go on the heat on the enchilada sauce. Let's get these dudes off. We'll slide over the oil, which I'm going to be using for the shells in a couple minutes. Get this meat turned over. Chop it up a little bit smaller. And we will we will come back in just a couple minutes once again. Alright, looking good. It's all nice and brown now. So, next step. Add a little bit of water to it. And then we'll come in with my taco seasoning. Put it all on top. Okay. Now as hot as the griddle is, it ain't gonna take long to make that water dissipate out of it. Just gonna let it slowly cook over here while I move forward to my next process. Meat is looking good, guys. I think you'll agree that looks perfect right there. So let's get it off the griddle. Time to get it in the bowl. Now, if you notice, I use my big one all the time. It is so much easier than them two small ones trying to flip everything over. I like my hamburger tool, what I call it. It is all my hamburger meat. There we go. Now, let's put one into this. So, how do I? Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. You can see it's sizzling in there. Okay, let's see. Let's flip the dude on over. See how she looks. Okay. Now we just gotta let it drip dry. And folks, that's it. We'll meet you inside. Got the Mexican cheese, enchilada sauce, the beans, the taco meat the uh, tomatoes and the black olives so i'm going to show you how to put it all together next 